Welcome to Two Rock, the sequel to One Rock. So we play the game as a man named Joseph Two Rock. I am Two Rock. And the game opens into a nightmare sequence. Ah, we're in Vietnam, but in the future. And it's Colombia. Ah. <laughs> He's terribly traumatized by his past when he was killing people in the jungle. So he wakes up in a <gasps> cryostasis. The lid lifts off very dramatically. There's smoke all in the room. And Turok and a heap of other soldiers hop out and they go, Oh, it's so great to stretch my legs. The other soldiers start making fun of Turok. Hey, Hell of a Somebody get a bucket and mop. You gotta be clear on it. Yeah, I can't stand janitors. Enough teasing, your majesty. Be nice to two rock. <laughs> I would have preferred three rock. Now, we get a brief shot of the spaceship that they're on. That, that gives you enough context, right? We are in space. Space, it affects us all. We're in a briefing room now, and lots of the fellow crew are asking each other, who's this new guy? And then one of them asks, are you two rock? And he seems to know all about us. Oh. I know all about you. <laughs> Your name's on the box. You've only got 30 minutes till we touch down, so I'm only gonna say this once. Can you repeat that, sir? <laughs> this is Whiskey Crew, and their mission is to apprehend Roland Kane. That's the guy from Condemned. That's me, Ethan Thomas. Now listen up, because I'm only gonna say this once. Kane is the leader of the legendary wolf pack. Ooh. Now listen up, your majesty, because I'm going to say this once. Kane has been AWOL, that's away without leave, for three years. He's gone rogue. Ah, shut up. No more exposition. Listen up. I'm only going to say this once. Turok used to be in the wolf pack. Yeah, before he screwed him over. Play, can it? He can't be trusted. But now Turok is actually going to help us take down Kane. Isn't that right, Turok? Yes, sir. They finish the brief, and they all prepare to land on the planet. One of them goes, I hope I see a dinosaur, and the other one says, no spoilers. And then this happens. Wow, that really zoomed into his head, huh? <laughs> Paul wants me to walk you through some of the gear we'll be using once we get planet side. Ever used one of these? No. <laughs> Suddenly. Their ship is shot out of orbit. Oh my god. Owing to his Native American heritage, he is very easily able to traverse the exploding spaceship. And he is knocked unconscious into nap time. Another dream. In the dream, everyone is wearing jumpsuits as though they are prisoners. Because they are. Roland Kane is there, and he is giving a very sensual speech. Kane explains that the army sees you as a bunch of violent reprobates with no future. But Kane sees potential, and ah, oh, I can see stuff in you. You're Native American, aren't you? You're a genius. You're either Cherokee or Kiowa. I'm guessing Kiowa. And you're lucky I'm in these cuffs, old man. Turok is very clumsy and he accidentally kisses the guard and he faints <laughs> because <laughs> it's so sexy and Kane is impressed. The dream ends. Oh, just when it was getting good. <laughs> <laughs> it's always that way in a dream, isn't it? Yeah. Suddenly, Turok wakes up from his dream. There is a fellow soldier and he says, Come on, you gotta get up, Turok. The ship hasn't finished exploding yet. <laughs> they make it out of the ship and it's all incredibly exciting. And once they get out there, they see, uh-oh, dinosaurs. <laughs> There's some pretty big birds here. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't understand it all. <laughs> wow, these bats have lost all their fur. So anyway, Turok is running through the jungle and he says, Perhaps it's not so bad to be here on Dinosaur Planet all along. Perhaps I can make a new home here. <laughs> No. Anyway, so you fight the dinosaurs, and then you find a lovely new knife. Wow. But the moment that you touch the knife, uh-oh, suddenly you dip to white flashback time. Remember that time I stabbed a man? That was pretty funny. But also, PTSD. Turok exits the flashback. Then suddenly, he encounters Slade. We may be stuck together, but that doesn't mean I have to like it. 
They're gonna be great friends, I can tell. They continue towards the main crash site, but they also encounter many enemy soldiers. Bang, 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 they're all dead. Your Majesty, tell me about these soldiers. Who the hell are they? They're called MG soldiers. Ooh. They're part of a mega corporation called oh. Mendel Grumman Corporation, and Kane is working for them. Boy, is that boring. <laughs> Two Rock and Slade, they are having a wonderful time fighting the soldiers when suddenly a huge Tyrannosaurus Rex attacks and eats the enemies. Oh my god. Turok and Slade, you'd better watch out, it's heading your way. Oh, never mind. I can't believe what I just saw. That guy's voice, that's not Ron Perlman, is it? It is Ron Perlman. Hey, <laughs> got it in one. <laughs> Donnie Wahlberg. <laughs> so Turok and Ron Perlman continue on their way. But along the way, Ron Perlman starts going, Hey Turok, you are such a traitor. I hate you, and also you are dumb. Remember that mission? To rock when you betrayed the wolf pack? You wouldn't understand, Ron. Yeah, well, my brother died during that mission, and that's one of the reasons that I hate you. Turok says, ah, oh, listen, your beef shouldn't be with me. It should be with Kane. Kane did all the bad things, you see? My beef is with both of you. Listen, I don't have any time for this. We're being attacked by dinosaurs, and why don't we flee together? Because these dinosaurs are pretty scary, don't you think? I'll tell you the truth, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> Along the way, Turok and Ron Perlman find another crashed escape pod, and inside the wreckage, Turok finds a bow and arrow. No, Turok, don't touch the weapon. <laughs> no. You'll have a flashback. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dip to white. This bow is for you. It's a pity that you're so ashamed of your heritage, Turok, because it so happens that some of the most feared warriors of all time were the Kiowa Indian tribe, your ancestors, and the bow was their weapon of choice. You're Native American too, Rock, so you shouldn't know how to use this. Turns to the Japanese guy, and for you, a katana. <laughs> Turns to the British guy, a long sword. And the Australian, a boomerang. Can we have guns? No. no. <laughs> to Rock pulls back the bow, and just as he's about to fire, Ron Perlman talks right over his flashback. How rude. Your bow is too old technology, lamau. This is future with dinosaurs. That's you. Useless. Shut up. He is so upset, he must add. Watch out, Turok. Dinosaur in it. Ah, JK. I'm just a friendly sock or whatever. Rawr. <laughs> hey, have you heard of NordVPN and their new threat protection feature? <gasps> Look out, Turok. This whole place uses public Wi Fi. These dinosaur marking managers or whatever, they're all trying to grab your personalized data so they can serve you ads. Here, Turok, use my Nord account. They let you use up to six different devices. Six different devices? Well, I'm changing my name from Two Rock to S Six Rock. Hey, what's poking That's me? That's my wallet, I swear. Oh no, Two Rock! <clears throat> Big crisis, even bigger than this whole Roland Kane thing. Yaholu, it doesn't work here in Dinosaur Planet or whatever. Quick, use my VPN. It's still poking me. That's a gun, I swear. It connects to over 5,400 servers on over 59 different countries across the solar system. Turok, we're back on the spaceship again. Inexplicably, the captain was visiting dodgy torrent sites without threat protection. Oh, why? Anyway, so threat protection. It prevents from malicious sites, malicious downloads, trackers, intrusive apps. Haha, it's me, Roland Kane. Hatched right in. But I... Shut up. NordVPN has end-to-end -end encryption and a no-logs policy. Why didn't you just get it? I tried to get their amazing two-year plan plus a free bonus month in NordVPN.com slash story mode. But I was frightened. Even though they have a money-back guarantee, I was afraid to let love bloom again on the battlefield. Shut up. Okay, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna go to nordvpn.com slash story mode to get a huge deal on a two-year plan plus a free bonus month. And then he did. And everyone was happy. The end. Add. They sneak into the enemy facility and the pair decide to split up. Now, while sneaking through the facility, Turok discovers that the planet is being terraformed. Oh my god. So? According to this computer, it looks as though there's an exponential increase in evolutionary activity. Ah, the idea is this is supposed to be exactly like Earth and things are evolving, therefore dinosaurs. So if you wondered why the planet has dinosaurs, that's the reason. Now Turok and Ron Perlman then reunite and they shoot their way through and out of the facility. Turok and Ron Perlman are now in Death Valley. Hey Ron Perlman, why do they call this Death Valley? No reason. 
then more dinosaur fighting. Then they go through a cave tunnel. Then they fight more dinosaurs. Then they leave the cave. And then they get attacked by a dinosaur. Oh, Your Majesty, I'm starting to notice a pattern here. And just as the dinosaur is about to kill him, suddenly a soldier named Reese shoots it down with his sniper rifle. That's pretty epic. Now, they find another crash site, and there, they find enemy MG soldiers all over it. Turok takes care of them using his stealth. <laughs> they all finally make it to the crash site. Whiskey Company is here as well. Seriously low on ammo and half our guys are MIA. Let's get this place secure just in case Kane's men do show up. By the way, Turok, you've got a mission too. You are assigned to finding all of the ship's long-range communications so that we can call home what about King? Capturing Roland is now a secondary mission. The main priority is now getting on some sort of spaceship and getting home safe, and then having a sandwich. Turok then goes to find the long range communication unit. <laughs> Along the way, <laughs> Turok is jumped, uh oh, by a former member of the wolf pack. His name is Grimes. That's right, Elon Musk's ex wife. And she says, Listen, we're a bit offended, Turok. Why'd you leave without even saying goodbye? And then she gives a smooch. Mwah. Let's have a baby and name it real weird. Now Turok says, Hey, listen, times have changed. This is the future now. You don't understand. Grimes then disagrees and says, You always be a wolf pack, Turok. What? You heard me. And then Grimes disappears back into the gut. Now, Turok continues on. <laughs> Why not? He finds another soldier from Whiskey Company, and his name is Cowboy. Suddenly, uh oh. Help me, partner. <laughs> the cowboy has been shot with an arrow. How partially ironic. Anyway, the crew shows up and they say, don't worry, we'll take this cow poke with us. And Turok says, okay. Slate, you and Parker are with me. We'll take Cowboy back to camp. Gonzalez, take Foster, Turok, and find that comm unit. They immediately find it just lying on the ground. They go to pick it up, but then suddenly a giant T-Rex bursts out of the jungle. Gobble, gobble, gobble. Right, so the T-Rex has eaten one of Whiskey Company and he was holding on to the comms unit. So in effect, the T-Rex has stolen the comms unit. Although if you slow it down, you can see he's actually back hopping into the mouth. So now Turok must go to the T-Rex's lair to politely ask for its return. Turok makes it there, and he goes, ah, here's that comms unit, and thank god, it seems as though the T-Rex isn't here. Guess again, says the T-Rex. Looking for me? It's time for a fight, says Turok. They go head to head. He stabs the T-Rex with a knife. Ow! But the T-Rex isn't dead, and it flings Turok out of his lair. Please leave. Turok is knocked out again. <laughs> Turok wakes up from his T-Rex-caused nap and gets to his feet. He says, I'd better go search for my team. But when he gets back to camp, Ron Perlman is not very impressed about the other soldiers being dead. You come back alive as well. Isn't that you back on my brother, and now my best friend. Turok refuses to defend himself and explain that it was actually all the dinosaurs' fault. I swear it was the T Rex. But instead, he acts stoic and lets Ron Pillman attack him with a knife. I should have done this the first time I saw you. Hold me back. Hold me back. I'm gonna get him. Turok then goes, Anyway, here's your fucking comms unit. Jesus. A second later, an arrow comes out of the forest. It's another enemy ambush, says Kane. Grrr, says his face. They successfully force the enemy soldiers back. However, three men die during the assault. Plus the comm unit is completely shot. Oh. <laughs> I mean, fucking hell. They decide to wait until morning before making their next move. However, there's a weird noise in the distance. Ooh. So Turok, Ron Perlman, and another soldier, they're sent to investigate. The noise seems to be coming from within a research lab building. What are they gonna find in there, your majesty? A recording of Roland Kane. That's very exciting. Play the tape, play the tape. Kane says, Yeah, there's this toxin, and we made it accidentally, and it, like, killed all the scientists. So... We've isolated it for further testing. Great. We all just got cancer. And then they find an aircraft. Wow, that is so handy. Can you fly? 
No. The trio inform Whiskey Crew of what they've found. So you're saying that Roland Kane has started developing chemical weapons? Yes. What does that have to do with dinosaurs? Nothing. So it's just shoehorned in to raise the stakes? Yes. Oh, okay. And, um, uh-oh. Scorpions. The Scorpions kill Soldier 3. Oh. Ron Pillman and Turok have to get into the aircraft to escape. But to get there, they must fight their way through the Scorpions. And they do. <gasps> Look, there's the chopper. Get in, Turok. But as they get close, what happens? The ground erupts beneath them. What? And this causes Turok to black out. Oh no, he's flashing back again. In the flashback, we reach the peak of the traumatic whatever, and we find out why Turok is so gruff and so quiet all of the time. Well, it turns out he was practicing with his bow one day, and an arrow went off, and he killed a civilian. No. A soldier with PTSD? We are breaking new ground. The script says, Turok has remorse. <laughs> Which is very accurate. But Roland Kane doesn't care about any of that. Ha ha. Lamau says Roland Kane. We'll kill as many innocents and peasants and whatever as we have to. <gasps> so Turok wakes up and he is absolutely fine. Huh? But he's alone this time in the cavern. Where's Ron Perlman? I miss him so much. I better go find him. Uh oh, there's scorpions there. He fights him. Oh, there's Ron Perlman there and he goes, I know it's all your fault, Turok. I know you used to work with a band of scorpions, didn't you? They killed my sister. Suddenly, a Loch Ness monster appears and Turok kills it and oh. Ron Perlman goes, I respect you now, Turok. I <laughs> like you. <laughs> what? <laughs> Better go find the coward who dropped this. Don't tell anyone about that. All right, well, they're best friends now. And they skip and hop back to Whiskey Company. Now, along the way, they get into a fight with enemy soldiers. I'll take the ones on the left, best friend, and you take the ones on the right. Now, halfway through this fight, Whiskey Company suddenly shows up. They blow up the enemy's helicopter, and then together as a group, they decide to make their way to the sub station. What's the substation? I think it was that building with the aircraft in it. Guys, like, listen, listen, let's take it to pause it. What do you think will happen next? Will it be A, <laughs> scorpions, B, an ambush, C, Ron Perlman decides that Turok is guilty, or D, they smooch? <laughs> it was B, an ambush. You see, they get ambushed again, and this causes the group's leader to think that Turok is in fact a traitor. But Slade, no, uh, Ron Perlman says... You having some kind of mental lapse, Logan? No, I, I like Turok. You know what? Ron Perlman is the traitor. That's it. That'll be the twist. That, that would be too smart for this game. <laughs> now, the group decides to hide. But then they are immediately found. During this fight, the leader of Whiskey Company is killed. Oh no. Anyway, Turok and Co make it to the substation. I love it here, it's brilliant. They fight their way through and most of them make it inside, except for one of the soldiers who's left outside. I will hold them all back with a minigun. <laughs> Together they go and they find the aircraft, but then when they get there, the aircraft has already been destroyed. Oh, it's like the comms unit from before. Shall we ever progress in this game? Suddenly, ambush time. But this time it's raptors and not oh, soldiers. They oh. are keeping it fresh at least. Now they're dealing with the ambush then they all go to the control room then there's a recording from Roland Kane we've modified the toxin or something and now it works great in air conditioners what it will kill everyone in the room what also it disappears after 20 minutes okay I found the perfect bioweapon says Kane this sucks so bad. It's epic, what are you talking about? They took all of the like expensive voice actors and used it for this shite. Nothing interesting is gonna happen, so we are gonna speed this shit up. Time to leave the base, but before making outside, the planet doesn't look very good. Oh my god, look, there's lava everywhere, it's meteorites. Oh my god, it's just like when the dinosaurs died. They fight their way through the planet until they make it to the other base. They're stupid through and then uh, Reese is shot in the head. Oh, but always miss him, says Turok. The T-Rex shows up. It's me, the same T-Rex as from 
from before. Freaking, oh, my eye it hurts. Guess I'll have a big T-Rex shaped eye patch. Whiskey Company, they make it to a vent and they sneak in and they go, oh, what's all this? Anyway, Whiskey Company fights their way through the base. They make it to the control room. Weren't we already there? Anyway, they decide to hop in the survival, they blow up the generator. They plant a bomb, but a flashbang is thrown just as they're about to leave. This is the best twist of the game so far. <laughs> Turok passes out. <laughs> and this time, for the first time ever, he doesn't have a flashback. Turok regains consciousness to find that Roland Kane is standing over him. And Roland scolds him, saying, It has been a long time. By the way, a lot of your men sure are dead. Is this all that's left of your company? Four soldiers? That's pathetic. You can't even abandon your mission without getting anyone killed. Well, to be fair, you are the one killing them all. Cowboy tries to defend Turok. Hey, come on, he's trying really hard. But Kane will not listen. Lamau. Then, I don't know, generator bomb goes off for some reason. And Kane gets thrown to the side. And Turok and Ron Perlman and some other soldier go, Unless we got onto helicopter, okay. So they get on. And then Turok goes, ah, oh, maybe I'll stay. I'll have to stop <laughs> Kane. Ron Perlman goes, okay. I've always trusted you. And uh, Turok, he goes, makes it to Kane. But it uh, turns out that Kane is already in an aircraft vehicle of his own. Then suddenly, Kane goes, Will you dial up the drama just a little? And Turok goes, All right, let me just hop into this turret then. And he takes down the airship. Explosions, rock and roll music. Suddenly, an airship crashes into Turok. Oh, God. <laughs> Turok! Uh... You keep going unconscious. <laughs> Turok and Kane both regain consciousness. Hooray! Kane says, You should have left when you had the chance. And Turok says, I'm not without saying goodbye first. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> then he says this, I'm not a soldier. A soldier follows orders. But a warrior follows his heart. Which is pretty funny. And then the pair fight mono a mono. First it looks like Kane is about to win. Then it looks like Turok's about to win. Then it looks like Kane's about to win. But at the end, Turok wins. But uh-oh, it's not over yet, Turok. That T-Rex, which we already fought twice and beat twice, shows up again. Remember me? <laughs> Hello! Turok fights the dinosaur, and this time he finishes it off properly. I mean, he kills it or whatever. He blows up the top half of the T-Rex's head. Then Ron Perlman and the other soldier come along and say, Hey, Turok, you need a lift? Turok gets picked up, and they fly off into space. Turok thinks to himself, I've learnt a lot this journey. I guess the real dinosaurs all along were actually my personal traumas, because I shot that lady with a bow. But I've overcome it now because I killed a bad guy, and also an actual dinosaur. By the way, I was hired as the janitor, I even brought my own mop and bucket. I'm going to keep that to myself. You know what? There was a mission brief at the beginning that said, get in there, kill Kane, and get out. And that is basically the entire story summarized. <laughs> Look how long this plot is. It could be summarized with Turok killing Kane, T-Rex explodes. <laughs> Question mark? The game was developed in three years with a team of... 150 people. Why did no one speak up? Eurogamer only gave it a 6 out of 10. Why did they hate it? Why do European people hate Turok? Terrible lizards? Question mark? With former publisher acclaim uh, long since bust and memories of Turok evolution as few as they ever were favorable. Is that a sentence? It's like a double sub clause, but it doesn't go anywhere. And it still continues. And then it still- it still continues. Put a full stop somewhere. <laughs> Did you know that James Cameron's Alien served as an inspiration for this game? And why was the game so shitty? Aliens has inspired a lot of shit. The reason Turok is so good at fighting dinosaurs is because, traditionally, <laughs> For thousands of years, the Native Americans have been fighting the dinosaurs. Is that true, your majesty? Yeah, you ever seen that movie Valley of Guanji? No. It's an old Ray Harryhausen movie where cowboys- Who? He's a stop motion guy. What? <laughs> okay, listen, uh, this, this isn't going anywhere, but it's an old stop motion movie where cowboys wrangle a dinosaur. It was hard to live back in those days. <laughs> Did you know that Turok is based off an old series? It's actually a rebooting? 
Did you play it back in the day? No. <laughs> I'll play it. I promise. Now, we heard a scandalous rumor that Turok is in fact gay. Ooh. Fake or gay? <laughs> Are these mutually exclusive? In honor of IGN's Dinosaur Week, I'm going to start with two supposedly prehistoric... <laughs> See, if I said it, they would go... Oh, hold on a minute, that's a bit, that's a bit much. Turok. Let's cut to the chase here. Check out this official storyboard from the 2008 Turok game. Oh my god. They're kissing. Yup, that's Turok. Giving Slade slash Ron Perlman a big old man kiss before running off to fight the final boss. The image has sparked debates from people wondering whether the game's homoeroticism was centered. Whether Chad Smith... Who is that? <laughs> is gay himself. Or they just like to make dumb jokes. Verdict not gay? What? Listen, Turok is absolutely gay. 100%. Maybe you'd like one stuck up your ass. Hey! Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice one, Turok. Now, listen, if you are a big fan of story mode, I want you to support the community and assure people that Turok is the gayest character that has ever graced a console. <laughs> what are these ads you getting? We are family, so who cares? <laughs> Mom, please. <laughs> Seok Woo has had a very... Oh, all right, we're playing this game next. <laughs> NordVPN.